Bigger Pockets is worth an ungodly amount of money, guys. Wow. I remember when they sold that thing for $44 million and I was shocked at how much money it's worth. Well, it just sold again, and the new valuation is going to blow your brain away. Let's talk. <laughs> All right, y'all. So yesterday, yesterday we talked. I dropped a, a show. We discussed some things, some major shakeups happening over at BP, right? Bigger pockets. They're smoking motherfuckers over there, okay? Uh, David Green, out. Co-host Rob, out, right? They got rid of the two co-hosts. They put in Dave Meyer as the new uh, host of the podcast, and then they said they're going to revamp how they do the show no guru stuff no fluff get back to basics yada yada etc cetera, etc cetera, right we talked about all that stuff at length yesterday and uh the main thing i wanted to discuss with this like why'd they fire dave and rob right and my assertion is that they fired dave and rob because of the new sale right to the new sale the tcg the shernan group okay uh and then there's an article you know it's confirmed Shernan Group, they own more than a 50% stake, right? So uh, the sale, it's not alleged, 100% confirmed, that happened, okay? Uh, what the article did not go on to discuss was the value that it sold for. And geez, geez, dude, that is so much money because you know your boy James Wise figured it out, got the details. I got the number, okay? Now, let's just... Backtrack a little bit. Remember, Josh Dorkin started the whole thing, hired Brandon Turner, blah, 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 blah. Boom. About a year ago, we discussed the value, right? He sold it. Last year, I put out a video because of my super secret sources in the know. Told me it was a valuation of $44 million. That blew my brain. I didn't think it was worth that much money. That's a lot of friggin' money. I mean, it's a tech company. I guess I should have saw it coming, but that seemed like a just like a ridiculous ridiculous amount of walk away money that he got okay uh so my sources told me 44 million right i very legitimate sources guys well doing more research discussing things uh with my people in the know um and if anybody out there who's watching this doesn't know who i am i mean I, I think it would be pretty pretty shocking if you are like interested in bigger pockets news and, and you frequent the bigger pockets website that you don't know who i am i'm james wise uh second most uh uh, <clears throat> second most active poster in the history of that website as a moderator there for a couple of years. Uh, so, you know, I'm pretty sure if you spend any amount of time frequenting uh, that website, you've probably heard of me, did the podcast like 10 years ago, blah, 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 blah. I know a lot of people. So uh, my sourcing is, in my opinion, pretty legit. I cannot guarantee, you know, I haven't seen the receipts um, and I haven't heard it from TCG themselves. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, based upon my discussions with my sources, y'all, that the new sale, the new reason, right, because I believe that all the shakeups happen because of the new sale uh, to TCG, the new sale to TCG, folks, $230 million valuation, bro. That is a ridiculous amount of money. One year ago, roughly, I was talking about, man, they got $44 million. Smash cut to today. Boom. $230 million valuation is what Bigger Pockets has allegedly sold, right? Uh, so just to recap, Josh Dorkin owned it, sold it to the McCarthy Group for an alleged $44 million valuation. And I'm guessing the McCarthy Group sold all or most of their shares to TCG for a value of $230 million, folks. That's freaking nuts. I wonder if this thing's going to go up above a 1B valuation. I'm thinking it probably will, dude. I mean, when you told me 44 million, my head was shocked. My brain exploded. Now we're talking 230. So at this point, I won't be shocked if Bigger Pockets reaches a value of over a billion dollars. Uh, I mean, I understand when they, to my understanding, when they were doing the sale uh, to TCG, uh, they're like showing over $20 million in annual revenue. So, you know, Everything's moving up. I, I wouldn't be shocked if this thing hits a billion in the next one to three years. Let me know your thoughts.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.